Hey there everybody, welcome to Tuck Tucks, Trinkets and Terrain. This video we're doing another unboxing for the April 2021 Dungeon Crate. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar, Dungeon Crate is a monthly subscription box that is tailored for tabletop role players, specifically Dungeons and Dragons and Pathfinder. So let's open it up and see what we got inside. All right, let's open this up and see what we got. Uh, right on top is the insert for the uh, the dungeon crate. Uh, it's got all of the info and everything, so we'll refer to that as we pull things out. Uh, first things first is the miniature. It looks like a Reaper Bones Black uh, Razor Mouth Mini. Uh, not sure what this is intended to be in terms of like Dungeons and Dragons, but it is a pretty cool model. Uh, let's see if there's anything specific about this. Uh, nope, nothing in particular, just a cool uh, mini to paint up. Alright, next up, uh, looks like we got a little bottle of paint. It's like the MSP brand um, Bronze Shadow. It's pretty cool, I don't think we've ever gotten paint in a dungeon pit before, or at least I haven't. Um, so I'll have to try that out, probably on the miniature that we got. Uh, cool. Uh, let's see, it looks like we got a dice and maybe a sticker. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so this is a, it's a double D6 pip dice. Um, so you can see, you know, there's a six and then a six on the opposite side. Um, does not say what brand or who made this, but uh, the color is really nice. The pips are gold, which I really like. I'm not really a fan of pip dice in general, but it is pretty unique in terms of dice, so that's pretty cool. And then our sticker here, doomed and determined, uh, a bunch of natural ones on the dice. It's nice, just this feels like a standard sticker. Uh, that's cool. Uh, next up, uh, we got ourselves a little squeeze toy of a red dragon. Uh, it's pretty stiff as far as squeeze toys go. It's like a uh, critical squeeze. So this might be an exclusive item for Dungeon Crate. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so it says this was made just for them. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm always fidgeting at the table, so this will be nice for me to to play with while I'm playing Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, it's pretty high quality as far as like a stress sort of toy goes. See some mold lines on there, but otherwise, you know, it's nice and stiff. It has a lot of give. You can see I can squeeze it pretty hard, but then it bounces right back very quickly. That's cool. I actually like that a lot. Uh, next up, um, I am not sure what these are supposed to be. Maybe like, Elf ears. Uh, let's see. So on our card here, I don't see anything about these. Um, I mean, they're definitely rubber. Actually, not sure what these are intended to be at all. Uh, it doesn't look like they would like hook onto your ear or anything, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm actually gonna maybe look online and see if I can find something about these, uh, and I will get back to you in just a sec. All right, so it does look like these are intended to be elf ears that sort of hook on these things around your ears. Um, I probably won't use these, but I can maybe envision using them for maybe some of my crafting project as like a wing set, something like that. But if you're into cosplaying or, or dressing up, these might be cool for you. Not really my thing, but I'm sure I can still find a use for them. Uh, next up is a Norse foundry item, the adventure compass. Uh, let's open this up, get a closer look at it. All right, so I got it all out. So this is um, metal, according to our 
insert here, it's a zinc alloy. Um, so it's nice and heavy. Apparently there were three different options that you could get. So I got the, the dragon one, it looks like. So you can see on this side, it's got the cardinal directions. Uh, oh, on the back side as well, just with a different design. Um, so that's pretty cool. I know, um, at least when I play, we like to have a, uh, a compass on our maps so that we don't have to keep asking the DM which direction is north. So this will come in handy for, for my table at least. Um, seems pretty high quality and I can't bend it, um, which is nice. So super high quality. That I, I've seen some Norse Foundry stuff before. It's always good stuff. So that's a pretty cool little knickknack. Uh, it looks like our adventures are next. So no strings attached. So Bardic Adventure, just nice little single page uh, mini adventure sort of thing. Um, it looks like along with a couple of cards for it. I uh, got our traveling bard stats for the picture and then a magic item to go along with it, the Cloak of the Bard. Yeah, again with the picture. So again, these are always really nice. I, I love using these in, when I'm DMing to just throw in sort of uh, as filler almost. Um, gets a little more interesting stuff in, in adventures or when you need to fill time or whatever. So that's always nice. Uh, next we got a set of just some generic stone uh, grid work, which is always helpful. I've gotten a bunch of these in the past, so I think I'm up to like maybe 20 of these at this point. Um, you can see the, the crate insert also has a slightly different pattern on the back, but again, it is uh, gridded as well, so that's cool. Um, and then the last two things are a couple of random tables. So this one, Voltan Adventurous Automaton. Okay, so this is a play on that old, uh, I guess you call it an arcade game, the uh, fortune teller. So it's set up to be used with a deck of cards. Uh, and it looks like that all are different magical effects. So for instance, you know, if you pull the five of spades, you switch potties with the uh, player to your right for an encounter, which is uh, pretty interesting. Everything's different, it looks like. Everything from skill buffs to weird magical effects to this one gives you a potion. Um, so that's pretty cool as far as a random magical effect table goes. And then this other one is, again, another random generator sort of thing with the deck of cards, but this is all treasure. Uh, everything from just random pieces of art to looks like weapons and there's a magical staff here all sorts of different things so nice and handy if you want to randomly get some treasure um kind of a little disappointing that these are with use with the deck cards and not dice um not really sure why that would be the case since these will require you to have a deck of cards in addition to the dice that you already have. So these could have easily been, you know, a D12 instead of 13 options, but you know, still cool. Gives a nice randomness to your games. Um, yeah. And then of course, as always on our box, we got our coins so we can turn in for some bonus prizes by sending those in. Um, yeah. Overall, this was a pretty good crate. Uh, so let's flip this camera around and do our outro. All right, so that's our April 2021 dungeon crate. Uh, overall, really happy with it. There are a few odd things. The miniature doesn't match the adventure for whatever reason, like it normally does. Uh, we got a few extra things that we normally wouldn't get. Uh, the little elf ears, for instance, weren't even on the um, list of things that we got, so sort of a bonus. And we've never gotten paint before uh, for miniatures, so that's pretty cool. Um, not sure about the quality of this paint, but I'll have to give it a try regardless. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, if you're interested in checking out Dungeon Crate, uh, the link for their website will be in the description below. Make sure you subscribe for future unboxings if you want to check those out, and check out the playlist that this video is in for previous unboxings that I've done. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time.